Hello. This video demonstrates the functionalities of CRM and Sales module. It is brought to you by Nepro Business Solution. As you see, this is the main screen of OpenERP where we select the database on which we have to log in. We have to give a username, password, login. This is the main screen of OpenERP. Here we can see these are the modules which are already installed in an open ERP like sales, project, accounting, purchases, warehouse, manufacturing and so and so. This is the company logo. This is main action panel which you see over here. Now today we will see the functionalities of sale and CRM as I said. So I'm going in sales. We all know to make a sale we need customer as well as a product without that we can't sell anything so let's see the product master first I'm clicking on a product here you can see the list of products the default view is a Kanban view we can change it to the list view here you can get the list of all the products quantity on hand forecasted quantity public price as well as the form view one product I just at a time in a Kanban view we can see the products this is card graphic card the price is 885 on hand 16 units that means 16 units we have in our stock the filter is set as can be sold if I'm removing the filter I can see all the products which are there if you want to put any other filter you can put like the filter of products filter of services products can be purchased we can put a filter to sort things now let's create one product which we will sell to the customer I'm creating a product take an example I'm creating a mobile this mobile belongs to some category I have some categories right now taking all products sellable this is can be sold can be purchased in an information we can see the type of the product the product type is it a consumable product that means we are consuming the product a stockable product if we are marking this product as a stockable product we will get the details of this product in a warehouse because we have marked this product as a stockable product a service open ERP treats product or service as a product like take an example one year AMC of computer so this is a service but we have to create that service as a product and we have to mark that product type as a service so right now mobile is a stockable product so I'm selecting stockable product sale price we have to provide a sale price I'm giving suppose 10,000 this 10,000 is a sale price which will get reflected whenever we will create a sale order and we will select this mobile as a product in the sale order line it will populate this price from here procurement we have some procurement methods make to stock or make to order if the product is make to order then we will select make to order that means we won't maintain any kind of stock of this mobile product if it is make to stock then we will maintain a stock record of this particular product supply method if we are buying this product from our supplier then we have to mark it as a buy if we are manufacturing this product then we have to mark it as a manufacture so right now i'm selecting as a buy there are some other options dealies suppliers we can mark it in an inventory we get the stock and expectant variation here we get the list of quantity on hand incoming product outgoing product and forecasted quantity forecasted quantity is a computation of upper three quantity on hand suppose we are creating this product and we already have 10 products in our hand so i'm marking it 10 so that we can sell this product right now i have 10 products on my hand 
in the sales we have something called as a warranty i'm giving 12 months a warranty customer lead time is 7 7 days we have no need to set any kind of accounting over here if we want to specify the accounting per product then only we will set this accounting over here otherwise set the accounting in a category i'm clicking on a category you can see income account expense account which are already there in a category so the product will inherit this categories or this account from the category over here so we have no need to set the income account and expense account per product we will set it for the category itself i'm saving this product now in a product if i'm searching if i'm searching a mobile you can see i have 10 products uh, 10 quantity on my hand and price is 10000 there is one more thing if you want to specify a cost price that also we can specify in a procurement there is a cost price this is the buying price which we get from the supplier i am putting it as 8000 rupees saving it now suppose we will follow the crm method right now so i don't have customer i am creating a lead to sell this mobile i am creating a lead of uh, sell 10 mobiles the company lead company or a lead contact we can set it suppose the lead company is Navro. contact name I'm giving contact name as Sandesh Rao this is my lead here if the lead is an existing customer then we have no need to put company name and contact name we will directly select the contact from the customer itself if he is an existing customer otherwise put a raw data like navpro sandesh i am giving an address Select the city, state, if state is not there, we have to create the state, I am creating a state, state code is 421, country is India. For this particular lead, we can select a sale person who will handle this lead. So I am taking administrator itself or we can take a demo user, I am using demo user who will handle this particular lead. If we have a sale team, we can select like sale department, direct sales, sales marketing, so I am selecting direct marketing. This team will handle this particular lead. Here we have some extra options like priorities and categories. This category is in software, products, services, information. We can select many things like it can be a product as well as it can be a services like this. I'm saving this lead. So you can see my lead got created sell 10 mobiles now after the creation of a lead i'm scheduling or a logging a call i call to the customer lead got confirmed or not confirmed but if there are any chances of opportunity then we can log a call we can put a call description like i talked with customer Now, we can put it as a convert to opportunity. The moment we convert this particular lead in an opportunity, it asks for convert to opportunity or merge with an existing opportunity. We can merge this lead with an existing opportunity or we can convert a new opportunity. 
so i'm selecting convert to a new opportunity we can select an existing customer or we can create a new customer right now i'm creating a new customer so you want to create opportunity so it will directly create a customer called as a sandesh rao in apro sandesh rao one opportunity is there as well as it will create a new opportunity in an opportunity you can see the thing sell 10 bytes so this is the opportunity we can mark it as an important we can give some color code for better understanding this is an important now we want to qualify this well qualify this proposition negotiation these are the stages of opportunity if you want to modify any stage we can edit it if you want to give another name we can give it like this if you want to remove any stage you can simply remove it by the selecting delete If you want to add a new stage, you can add a new stage from here. Give a stage name, probability, and save it. It will create a new stage over here. Now, I got my lead or opportunity at a qualification stage. I can simply drag and drop it, or I can open it. I can navigate from this bar also. It's in a negotiation stage. Suppose it got won, so I can mark it as a won. Now this lead got won. I can simply create a quotation on this lead. I want to create a quotation. The customer is now for Sandeep Shah creating a quotation. The moment I create a quotation, the entry will get reflected in a quotation menu. In a quotation, I can simply see the quotation S O zero zero nine. the status is draft this quotation is draft quotation till now it has no product nothing so right now i am adding a product i'm selecting mobile I wanted to sell 10 quantities do we have 10 quantities yes we have if you want to give tax so you can create it or if you do not have then no need to create save it after saving it the quotation is still in a draft quotation stage now you can see the total amount now we can send it by an email to a client or we can confirm it we want to print it we can print the quotation and send it now i want to confirm the seal i'm clicking on a confirm seal after confirming we get a seal order number it got confirmed now either we can go to the delivery part or we can go to the accounting part if we are going into a delivery part we will go to the warehouse and we will deliver the product first then we will see to the invoice part if we will go to the invoice part then we will do the payment procedure and all and after that we will see the delivery process so right now i'm going into an invoice part create invoice invoice the whole sale order i'm clicking on a create and view invoice so the invoice got created this invoice is in a draft stage it did not got any id or a unique number to this invoice the moment i click on a validate it will mark this invoice as a open invoice now the stage got converted from draft to open it got a unique invoice id now in the sale order you can see the stages this never send the stock status is sale order new invoice register payment till now it's open cause we have 
didn't pay anything to the customer or we didn't receive the amount from the customer so now i want to mark it as a paid so i'm clicking on a register payment i have received the full amount i can select the payment method as a bank journal check journal cash journal i'm selecting a bank journal pay now the status of this invoice is paid it will automatically generate an accounting entry and accounting module so in seal order this is the customer now let's go to the delivery part and click on a view delivery order it will take me to the warehouse where we will check the availability of the product and click on availability yes i have 10 mobiles in my stock so i can simply deliver it clicking on the delivery mobiles then deliver we can print the delivery slip if you want to print this is the simple seal process now the status of a seal order is done This is the simple sales and CRM flow in open ERP. Thank you.